Hey everyone, it's your girl Tiff. Hey guys, I'm coming back to you as a GD graduate. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, wearing black today is white. <laughs> hey guys, uh, it's your girl Tiff. If this is your first time seeing my video, um, just to let you know, I say this in most of all my videos. I'm not a professional YouTuber, guys. This is just me, straight raw, giving it, giving you the information that um, I have learned about the GD. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, you definitely may want to check it out if you're about to take your GED or if you have taken your GED test. Um, my first video is talking about um, the new rules and regulations for the GED 2020 test. You definitely want to check that out if you're about to take your test. The second video is about, because um, on my first video I actually passed three subjects but I felt my math by two points so my second video is talking about the retake math test that I had to take um, and everything that went into that so definitely check that out if you're struggling with the math or um, or about to retake your math um, I just recently posted another video guys about a story of me being almost discouraged to take my GED and just talking about my experience with that and now I'm back um, with another video that's, um, just to share a couple of tips on how I passed my math GED I know I had a couple people in the comments ask me if, um, if, you know if I can make a video about this so sure I'm here okay one I just wanted to say shout out to the teachers or tutors whatever you want to call it on YouTube I actually studied for my whole entire GED test and my math straight or for YouTube. I didn't go to any in-person classes. Um, I didn't have any classes online. I just um, went to the GD website. GD has an official website, gd.com. If you go to the website, I looked at the subject area of what I should study, and then I took that information and then looked it up online and found what worked best for me, which was online. And I studied just like that, and that's how I ended up passing my math. Um, there's four subjects on the math test that you should know in order to pass because if you just think it's math, you might be going crazy studying everything under the sun. And you don't have to, guys. It's four. There's basic math, basic algebra, graphs and fractions, and ge geometry. Ge geometry. Sorry, I have you saying that way wrong sometimes. <laughs> okay, but you get it, right? Okay, so it's those four plus, um, on the hall, okay, I'm sorry guys. So those are the four main things you should be studying because that's what they're going to test you on. Also, familiarize yourself with the formula sheet. On the GED test itself, they provide a formula sheet. You can click on and see all the formulas. So what I would do is study, as you're studying for the math, there's certain formulas that go to certain things. You do not need to memorize every formula because they provide it to you on the test. You just need to know uh, what formula to use for what question, what type of question, okay? So familiarize yourself with that. And also, when I was watching one of the teachers online while I was studying, she mentioned, shout out to Curly Persistent. Uh, she helped me greatly on this math test. Um, just by watching her videos um, she mentioned that a lot of her students that learned how to use the GED calculator it's not actually GED calculator there's a calculator specifically made that you can use for the GED you cannot use just any calculator there's one in Pacific it's called the TI 30 X S as in Sam multi view scientific calculator it is the only calculator that's allowed to um, to be used for the GED test, which means you could buy one and bring it in with you. Um, but you can only use it for part two. There's a part one of the math and part two you'll be testing on. Part one is only kind of like, I think five to ten questions. And then after that, it goes into part two and you are allowed to use the calculator. So you can buy one off of like Amazon or any store and use it. Or what I did is because I didn't end up buying it, I just familiarized my, I just familiarize myself with how to use it I I um I did I googled on YouTube like GED calculator how to use it so I learned how to use it because on the actual GED test guys they 
um, have a calculator they have that calculator on the test like you could click on it and and it will pop up and you can use it um, and um, actually just going back a little bit I had heard her talk about how her students that actually learned how to use the calculator and what questions to use it from actually scored higher than the students who didn't know how to use the calculator so guys and I, and I believe that to be true because on my first test I kind of knew how to use it, but didn't know exactly for like how to use it for certain questions. And on this my retake math test, I was on it. I was boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and I actually was able to move faster and feel like get my my answers a little bit more accurate. And by the end of by the time I finished my math, I actually had like 10 minutes left, guys, like 10, 15 extra minutes left, and I was able to go back to certain questions that I had flagged, and if you don't know what that is, on the GED test, you're allowed to flag, which is like save certain questions and go back to it later. I was able to go back and check and go over some other question, you know, stuff I had flagged um, and go over it with a good amount of time. So I would definitely learn the formula and learn the formula and learn how to use the calculator it can help um also guys when you're doing something like this me i always like to have little things around me knickknacks or something that will help encourage me more to push myself further like guys i was shopping at like dollar tree and i ran and this was an hour time like um before the summertime like graduation from all the classes and then Dollar Tree they had this section where it had all these graduate things and look guys I bought this cup for myself I know it's a little backwards because of the camera but it says let the adventures begin class of 2022 and guys I brought this and I told myself I would not drink out this cup and I told everybody in the house don't nobody touch my class don't nobody drink out my cup and I wouldn't even drink out of it until I pass and guys now I'm drinking out of my cup guys and also, I like wanted to dye my hair red. Look, I got my little red hair dye and all that stuff. And I was like, let me show y'all. I wanted to dye my hair red, and I was like, it don't make sense to dye it now until I accomplish something. That's kind of like my little gifts to myself. And so I end up like buying my hair dye. I also bought like this beautiful red wig and all these things that I'm gonna um show you guys next time. So I told myself I would dye my hair when I pass. So I know it's still black now, but I'm gonna get it together. But it's coming, okay? So I would encourage you to buy little knickknacks or have little things that help encourage you because it definitely helps, okay? Um also I'm trying to see if anything else I need to go over. Um like I said, what works for me may not work for you, but for me, it was watching YouTube videos. There's nothing wrong with going to in-person classes. In case you don't know, they do have in-person classes. You can go for like three months to take your GED. Um, they have books at the library. Uh, they have online classes. Um, um, so find what works for you. You understand what, what helps you learn easiest and then stick with that. Um, the P so Here's just like a couple of um, names that I watched on YouTube if you do want to know purely persistent ultimate algebra test prep champions and there was another gentleman named Wisp videos I believe I'm sorry if I said his name wrong but these are just a couple of people that I checked out that um helped me and then whichever one I gra gravitated to the most is where I stuck to what it was what i stuck with but i checked out everything i was checking out everybody videos i even googled like hard gd questions just to um make sure i was felt more prepared this time but like i said those are the four topics you know um that you need to be studying familiarize yourself with the formula the calculator um buy little things around you um to help encourage you and um yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions. Um, I'll do another video soon if, uh, if you have any questions. And also to show my red hair. Ah, okay. But guys, I wish you luck. Uh, I'm getting so much love from everyone. People who are telling me they, they passed as well. Or maybe they fell by a couple of points or something like that. I just say don't stop. Keep going. Because let me tell you guys. On my way the morning of my test. I didn't really communicate with anybody like I really was to myself it was between me and God and I walked 
to that testing site. And also, another thing is, I when you go to take a GED test, you have to go online and uh, and go to, and find a testing site near you. And when you go to the testing site, I the one I went to specifically in the Bronx, I had to sign sign my name when you go in. You write down what test you're there to take. Then you put all your stuff away in a the locker. Then when you go inside, they have you sign again. They have they take a photo of you. They make sure they check, they to ask you to un, like pull out your pockets and all that stuff or flip your mask over just to make sure no one's cheating or nothing like that. And then they take you into this room and the room I'm in is other people in there and not everyone is taking the GED test. Some people are taking different tests, but you go in there and then they sit you at your own booth. It's all booths, you know, private booths and you have a laptop, you have a computer in front of you, a desktop. And, um, and then you take your math test. Also, what I did do too, I want to tell you guys people was asking I now if you feel like doing this is perfectly fine but for me I did not take any practice math test before I took the GED test because I was so scared I was gonna like trick myself out of it or I had read comments where people had took the practice test and passed but then took the actual test and failed so I don't believe in like taking all these pre things before I just want to go in and then take and whatever test I'm taking is going to be that test like you know the test you're supposed to take but what I did do was there was a couple of people um, on YouTube who actually was taking the practice test online so I was watching them take it so you can kind of get familiar with what the GED test would look like because it's damn near a replica of it so you see what the test look like and you see the kind of questions they have you can see what a formula sheet is you can see what a calculator is so I would suggest you um, watch some GED pre-test videos practice test videos as well if you never if you haven't taken your test yet, just so you get an idea of how it looks but um yeah guys good luck with everything hit me if anything keep positive people energy around you keep them little knickknacks and stuff around you and if you fell it's okay because when I went to there I was not a GED graduate when I went to go take it but when I walked out them doors baby I damn sure was so you know and uh, I, ain't, I, I I told myself uh, I was telling my kids when I came home like I ain't even the same woman that walked out this door this morning you know <laughs> I went out one way and came back another so don't stop and believe me I know people who actually had to take the math test up to like five six times just before they pass but the more you take it the more you understand where you're struggling at and you could do better the next time so guys good luck congratulations to everyone pass. good luck to everyone that's um, going to take their test and for anyone who just fell don't stop Keep going. We almost there. <laughs> See you later, guys.